everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about probably my most favourite tool that I use when it comes to trading and that is Magic Keys. I have created a previous video about Magic Keys, I'll include the link above and that's a review. It actually talks about the physical Magic Keys that you can buy, this keypad that looks a lot like a calculator. Well that's what it is, it is a calculator tool to help you with your trading as well as a tool to help manage your risk when you're trading. In fact you can do quite a lot with this useful little keypad. And you know what's great is that you can actually buy a physical version or you can buy a digital version and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to share with you a demonstration of the digital magic keys and I'm going to show you a little bit more about what it includes. <laughs> Okay guys, so here I am in my broker in MetaTrader 4 and you can actually see I've got some pending orders that I set here using Magic Keys and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that but first I'm going to manage my own risk by jumping onto my demo account. Right guys, so I've just logged into my demo account with Vantage so this is a fake account, not my live account and I've not used Magic Keys digital on here before so I'm going to go from scratch here, I'm going to load them up so first things first is to open Magic Keys and what I need to do is actually connect Magic Keys with this new demo account that I've just set up. So I'm going to go into File and Open Data Folder. And this is to get this long code here. So I'm going to remember the last four digits, which is C41. Back into Magic Keys, File, Link MT, MetaQuotes, Terminal, and that long number here I'm looking for C41, that's this one here, select the folder. So all I need to do is restart my platform. So I've just restarted my platform here, MetaTrader 4, and on the left hand side panel here, underneath Expert Advisors, if I open that up, voila, I should have Magic Keys. So I'm going to double click our magic keys so we can get this added onto the chart here because at the moment you can see we've got a sad face by magic keys because it's not active yet. So for that I need to go into common and make sure we've got allow live trading ticked as well as allowing the DLL inputs. And in inputs I'm not going to go into all the parameters in this video but here is where you can access all the parameters that you might want to change for your personal strategy or your personal risk management plan. So for example, what I usually change here is the percentage of risk per order because it's default to, to risk in 2% per trade. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to enter one. Another thing I like to do is where it says show the pip count on the charts, it always shows it and I like to change this because personally it distracts me when I'm trading. So I'm going to remove that. Um, all other parameters, feel free to pause this with all of the parameters, feel free to pause this video and just have a good read here so that you can see what is involved with Magic Keys. So once I've clicked OK, you can see we've still got the sad face and that's because we need to click on Auto Trading. Make sure that's green and that should make Magic Keys happy and good to go. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back into my screen here and usually that would connect up my actual device here, but this is a video about digital magic keys that I've recently brought and really love. And to load digital magic keys up, all you need to do is click on the tab on screen and open. And as you can see, that pretty much replicates this. So it's got the same buttons, it's got the same functions. Uh, the beauty of digital magic keys is that it is there ready on the screen. So this is ideal if you find yourself traveling and trading quite a lot or if you don't trade from the same place regularly because if you forget your device, you've got them there on the computer with you. So let's have a play around with this calculator. Let's demonstrate how it works and show you why I love this tool so much. And to do that, we need to have a more fast paced market. So I'm going to go on to the one minute time frame. This isn't the time frame that I usually trade from, but it is what I'm going to use for this demonstration in this video. So let's go with this overall uptrend here. Once again, quick disclaimer that this is not my usual strategy. 
but we are going to just go with this uptrend here and let's load magic keys up let's try to set a simple order here so to do that i'm going to click open calc now this loads up two lines if i zoom out you can see them both here and all they represent is the green line is my target and the red line is my stop. And this is a standard calculator for market orders. So once you're happy with this, when you open a trade, it opens it at the current market price. So at the moment, price is at 9730. So let's just set a stop at 9725. And let's just set a target. Let's just set that up here. And you can see on the lines, it does tell you what it's calculating. So here it says we're risking six pips, which is the equivalent of £99.82 using 1% risk on this account, which is a £10,000 demo account. The volume that Magic Keys is calculating this at, this is the lot size, is 1.77. So you can either set Magic Keys using the keypad or you can just use it to calculate your actual lot size and enter that figure in right here. You can see it's changing, that's because it's going from the market price. So as the market is moving, this calculator is automatically updating with your risk in mind. And then looking at the target up here, we can see that it is aiming to make uh, six pips. It's aiming to make 75 pounds or 0.75%. And actually at the moment, we've got a negative risk reward because we're looking to risk more than we're going to make. But I'm not worried about that because this is just a demonstration. If you're happy with that, you can click on open trade and that sets your order right there straight away with MetaTrader 4. Once your order is set, these are totally customizable as you can do them with MetaTrader 4 anyway. So if you want to bring your stock up, you can move this line. Once I've accepted those all important terms and conditions. <laughs> if you want to move your target again, you can move the line there. And as you can see along the bottom, we're into this trade. It's quite a big spread here on this demo account, but we're in at 33. So we're just in the middle of the spread at the moment, which means we're just slightly down on this account. And what's great about Magic Keys is although you can use it as a calculator for getting into trades, you can also use it as a trade management tool. So that means that you can use it to manage whether you want to close part of your position. So let's say that I have decided that I want to close half of my position. Looking at the size box here, we can see that we've got 1.52 lots. Now if I click close half, that's actually closed half of my position, which is fantastic if you are wanting to trail some profit as you are in a winning trade. If you only want to close part of this trade, you can actually set up the parameter in that box I showed you earlier when we set up Magic Keys. Um, so you can click close custom and that will close whatever it is you have set in your custom box in your parameters. So this, for example, could be a quarter of a percent if you wanted to just close a small fraction of a trade. Or of course, you can click close full and that will just get rid of your trade entry right there. So that's an example of a market order. Now what I primarily use Magic Keys for is for setting pending orders. And this is how you do that. It's the same process, you click open calculation, but you also click market pending and that brings up this yellow line here. Now if the yellow line is underneath price and the stop is underneath price and the green is above, that is setting up a buy limit order. So that basically means that once price comes down to this yellow line, that will trigger your buy entry. If this yellow line is above price and we've got the red line underneath and the green above, that is a buy stop. So if price pushes past that yellow line, that will trigger your entry in buying at that price. And the same with the other way around, all you have to do is move the line. So let's put the green on the bottom and the red on the top and the yellow line is above price. So this is basically saying that if price moves past this yellow line, that will trigger a sell limit because our stop loss line, our red line is above the yellow line and the green profit target is below. And vice versa, 
if we put the yellow line underneath price here with the red above and the green below once price crosses that yellow line that is a sell stop and that will effectively sell into that position so they're the four different order types that you can use simply using magic keys pending orders and let's just do a quick demo here let's have a go at using a buy stop seeing as the market is moving higher so i'm going to move my lines back around again and you can see price is pushing up i'm not going to focus so much on the actual stop and target but rest assured that wherever i move this red line to you can see that the risk always remains the same because magic keys knows that i don't want to risk more than one percent per trade and it just adjusts the actual lot sizes that it uses for the position. So once we've got that set up, I'm going to click on open trade. And it, you can see it has actually set this as a buy stop order because I use the yellow line above price. I have my stop set below price and my target way up above. So this basically means that once price action crosses this green line, it will trigger me into this trade long. Once again, because the order is set now and Magic Keys job is done, if you want to adjust this pending order, you can do so by moving the lines around here, although your lot size will remain the same now when that's been done. Or you can do it as you normally would by double clicking on the box and altering whatever it is you want to alter, whether that's your stop loss or your take profit. So that's just some of the ways that you can use digital magic keys to help you with your trading. As I said before, magic keys is probably my favorite tool when it comes to trading because I always use this to help me to manage the risk for my trades, to calculate what lot size I can take so that my risk remains the same for every trade. And I also use it to help me to set pending orders in the market. So it's perfect to accommodate my swing trading strategy. If you want to try out Magic Keys for yourself, I have got a link below in the description and it does give you a discount as well if you use my promotional code. So I encourage you to check that out. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already part of the channel and I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.